welcome back to the Seven Folds Farm YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to make some sourdough cinnamon rolls. So let's get started on that. Okay guys, and since they're sourdough, um, for the dough, we're going to be letting that sit overnight. And I'm actually going to be letting it sit for two nights so that it gets really good. So for the dough, I'm going to be doing some two-thirds cup milk. Two tablespoons of butter, one egg, one half cup of active starter or the sourdough starter that we do, um, two tablespoons of sugar, two and a half cups of all purpose flour or flour, and a half teaspoon of salt. So let's get started on that. Okay, guys, so I have all of the ingredients here, and we are going to be mixing two thirds cup of milk. We got two thirds cup and two tablespoons of butter in a saucepan. So this is what I'm going to be using. And then, so two tablespoons. And just, let me cut that really quick. So we're not going to stir it actually, we are just going to do that, because it says to, yep it says to put all the ingredients, I mean just the milk and the butter in there, and to let the milk until it's warm and the butter is melted. So. We're gonna work on that right now. Okay guys, we have Bernadette right here. She is our sourdough starter, and as you can see, all those bubbles in it, I don't know if the camera can show it, but those means she's happy. So we have a happy sourdough starter right here. Her name's Bernadette. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and add a half cup of her to our stand mixer bowl. This, yeah, like I said, she is the sourdough adding Bernadette to it, and now we are going to be adding our egg to it, and we can add the sugar to our dough, and we'll add our milk and butter, which I think is ready right now, actually. So, we can beat that together really quick, and then we will add our sugar. Now we're going to be adding our two tablespoons of sugar, and then we'll beat that up, and then we can add our milk and butter mixture. So we go ahead and this Alright, we have just finished beating it, and now we are going to pour this in after it has uh, cooled slightly, so it's not really hot, and we're going to beat that up again. Now we're going to add our flour and salt. So we're going to do two and a half cups of flour. Yeah, two and a half cups. So there's my first cup. And there's my second. And then my half. Two. So there's the flour. And now we are going to add our half teaspoon of salt. Here, the salt. There's that. And we're going to mix that until it forms a nice dough and be pulled off the sides. We will get back to you guys on the flour surface. Right here, we are just going to be kneading this dough until it's all nice. I'm just going to knead it for a few minutes on my flour cutting kneading board. So as you can see, it was stickier, but now it is kind of more of a nicer consistency. Nice and stretchy. Yeah, nice and stretchy. Okay, I am going to be taking this nicely kneaded and floured dough and putting it into this bowl to sit for two nights. As you can see, it looks a lot nicer and more of a better consistency for cinnamon rolls. So, we will show you guys more on these cinnamon rolls. This is day three of baking cinnamon rolls. 
Today we are just going to be making the filling, rolling out the sourdough um, dough for it, um, and then we'll be rolling back up, cutting them, and then letting them rise. Okay, so for the filling, it's just four tablespoons or half a stick of butter, very soft butter. I want a very, very soft. Um, two thirds cup packed brown sugar, four teaspoons of cinnamon. Um, so that is the filling. You can also add nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and an eighth teaspoon of allspice. We don't add that just because we rather it with just cinnamon. Okay guys, I have all my seasonings mixed together into this bowl. And it's kind of like a nice little crumble. As you can see, like I could break that up a little more. But it's pretty good. So, now we are just going to... If this dough does not start getting thawed out, I will beat it with my rolling pin that I got from an amazing home ec teacher. But, I think it's okay to start with. I might yeah, add a little bit more and have it nicely spread out. We're going to sprinkle the toppings that are so delicious um, onto my cinnamon roll dough. So, so, since this will take a while, we will get back to you. Okay. okay, guys, I don't have our dough rolled out right here, as you can see. And our crumble, I'm just going to be sprinkling that over my dough, trying to get it evenly dis distributed. Just like that. I can fill in any bare spots. So I'm going to that up a little bit. Now, and my favorite part of making cinnamon rolls, I think, is making the crumble, just to see how the butter makes everything stick together. I think that is one of my favorite parts, but eating it is more of a favorite because I get the warm, toasty, cream cheese, powdered sugar, frosting, whatever frosting, uh, with the gooey, that stuff, and that, and my dough on the outside, and then I love eating the middle of it because of that. Just totally adds a touch. Okay, guys, I have flower hands right here. I don't see any flowers growing. Hey, okay, uh -huh. flower hands, see? Flower. And now I'm just gonna try to keep my spiral as tight as I can, as I roll it up. It's very talented. But, like, I wanna not push it too tight with all my filling, just keep getting pushed there. You want to still have your filling inside, inside of your cinnamon rolls. You just kind of put it like that, and I'll pull that out. So like, I'm not sure it's pretty good. I can even kind of get that stuff in there. I don't think it'll stay or anything. So it's always trying to get back out. And there's my brother trying to eat the filling that pulled out. We have you on camera now. Okay, we have him on camera. You saw, you saw him do it, didn't you? Let's see, he's doing it right now. He was eating it, see, in his mouth. See, okay. Um, I have my cinnamon roll right here. I've already said that. Right, that's fine. Okay. And then I'm going to cut. Weird. All right. I think we're doing about that bit of cinnamon rolls. The recipe says it should make eight. Should make. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We get ten cinnamon rolls. But they never really know because I could have doubled the recipe. Oh no, that doesn't matter. Oh, that looks like we'll have to eat out. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna kind of put my hand right there. There. I'm gonna get a good chicken rice. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll just kind of repeat that. Okay, that one looks even better. Look at that. Oh, that one. So I have kind of three right now. That one kind of fell apart. So three. Oh, no, fourth. We'll get back to you because then again, some of these may be before they're even. Okay, guys, here they are, all beautifully rolled up in the cookie sheet. Wow. And well. <laughs> now my brother can come and steal the extras because I'm so now be using the extras. we're gonna let these rise while we're at church mm -hmm. and then when we get home we are going to bake them yes so they'll have plenty of time to rise and then another guilty suspect see why why another person okay we've caught everyone on camera Maybe caught them. okay we're gonna just stick these in the oven even her she needs to eat some we're gonna even stick these in the oven not while the oven's on just so that no one bumps Watch. them while they're rising. She's gonna eat some. Miles, would you be me take this? And the oven. And it's not on at all. That's just so no one bumps them. Right? Yeah. Alright guys, we'll get back to you whenever we are cooking them, frosting them, and of course, the best part. So these have finished rising, and now I'm going to just be sticking them in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes, but I'm gonna check them around 30 minutes to make sure they don't get burnt, because I don't like burnt cinnamon rolls. Let's go ahead and stick them. I have just now finished the cinnamon rolls. Um, so for my icing, 
that I put on them. I used, I put um, four tablespoons of room temperature butter, two ounces of cream cheese that was at room temperature, um, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, um, half a cup of powdered sugar, and a, one to two teaspoons of milk. So that is what I put for my frosting. Um, you can also do a glaze if you rather glaze and not icing or frosting. You can do a powdered sugar glaze, which is just milk and powdered sugar, really. Um, and you can add stuff, more stuff if you want, I guess. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below and have a blessed day. Bye.